All right, so this video is a response to um, what uh, size gauge wire you'd need to um, bridge a connection. This this one right here broke, and it's by chance I have the same exact board here in the garage. And so it was here and here on the one that I took a picture of that uh, I bridged that contact. The cross-sectional area of the trace is going to determine the amount of current that can flow through there. And you can notice here how how wide this one is and then uh, how uh, narrow this one is. And that's for the varistor. So they're not expecting a lot of current to flow through the varistor. Um, but the, the width here is going to be directly proportional to the amount of current, the, uh, the trace. So I'm going to cut it here, cut it here. I'm going to actually lift it and measure the cross-sectional area. So we know our cross section is 1.782 and that puts us a little over 14 gauge and you can see the maximum amps for for that uh, gauge wire is 32 amps um, so yeah 14 gauge would be plenty I mean, you could go to 16 gauge as you can see but um, as Walter was saying uh, better to be on the safe side now, if you have a car, you know, and the maximum the car can go is 120 miles an hour, you wouldn't want to sit there and drive at 120 miles an hour all the time because you're going to burn out the car. Um, so it's best to do, if you're at half, you know, same goes for breakers. You know, if you're at half or a little more, then that's good. You don't want to be, you don't want to be at the maximum allowable current um, for the circuit. And this is the 12 gauge wire I use. Now you may say correctly that, wait a minute, the chart that I used is for solid core wire and I'm using stranded wire. Well, that is true. But what I did is filled that uh, stranded wire with solder. And so that makes it a solid core wire. If I just wanted to use a stranded and not fill it with uh, solder, then what I'd have to do is measure the diameter of one strand and calculate the amount of strands that I have and figure out what the cross section would be. And that'd be a little more tedious. Well, not the flashiest video I've ever done, but uh, there it is. Uh, if you have any comments or uh, questions, then uh, put them on the Facebook group or on the video. All right, we'll see you next time.